you want to be a good leader, you have to learn from various sources. Good leaders are continuous learners. In the olden days, we used to learn using mainly a few of our senses, particularly eyes to read, ears to listen, listen from teachers and a variety of other well-wishers, eyes to read books. But today we use the same instruments as antennas for it from a number of sources. There are many, many sources which send signals, uh, which includes television, mobile phones, films, uh, YouTube, social media, so many other things, multiple sources impacting us continuously. So you have to make choices. I think this is where as choices, as the multiplicity of inputs or the scope for receiving inputs from various sources improve, increase, the choices become difficult. That is where you may not have control over the sources that impact you and influence you to be a good leader. So you have to make very careful choices. Many people have given up good reading habits, which used to be a great source of development of our vocabulary, inspirational uh, stories from leaders and so on. Reading and listening to the right kind of stories will put you into a totally different kind of an orbit. That's where you need to exercise good control. What kind of televisions do you see? What kind of social media you attend? Even if you are on uh, social media like LinkedIn, Facebook, you have to make choices of the messages you send and messages you want to receive. I think there is a continuous need for making right choices and get inspired by the right kind of people. Reading leadership stories will help a good deal in building our own leadership kind of competencies. But reading nowadays of leaders who seem to be mostly in the course of uh, finding out the faults in other people or rather than building for the future is going to be a major challenge. Uday Parikh used to say, administration deal deals with the past, management with the present and leadership for the future. I think we should be exposing ourselves more in terms of the future possibilities, inspirational stories of people who are visionaries, who can give the right kind of a guidance and so on. Management, of course, is also important. It is particularly managing your time, managing the kind of resources you want to make yourself available for, tuning your antennas to get the right kind of signals using both your eyes and ears as well as other senses to receive the right kind of signals. Uh, you need to make a lot of choices. I strongly recommend people to get back to the olden days, use a lot of leadership stories to read or listen on YouTube. Uh, that will put you into a totally different kind of an orbit. This is an important point I wanted to say in this short conversation today. Thank you for listening.